This is a transputer board. This is one of the projects that I worked on at the university and I actually happened to retain this transputer board all these years. The transputer was pretty advanced for its time in the 80s. Um, a company called Inmos came up with this multi-core, multi-threaded um, concept as a risk-based system. And um, it had its own programming language called Occam uh, with the parallelism built into the language. And you could uh, basically create massively parallel computing platforms uh, for things like, uh, this is precursor, GPUs and all that. But um, um, I've kept um, hold of this board and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a bit of, a, a bit of an heirloom, but it's also a very interesting piece of tech. So um, yeah, this is still in working condition. I haven't actually powered it up recently. You, you need to plug it into a PC. You can load up programs uh, onto this board via the console on a PC. Run your compiler uh, and your linkers on, on your PC and then download the executable onto uh, the memory uh, of this board and then execute it on the board. Um, it's a fairly primitive system now compared to what it, you know what we have today, but it's uh, quite um, an interesting uh, piece of technology which uh, spawned uh, some of the stuff that we, uh, some of the tech that we use uh, in today's uh, technological world. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I don't know if any one of you have ever worked with a transputer or know of the transputer. If you have, uh, put a comment down there and uh, share your experiences. The Inmos, the Inmos company itself, unfortunately, um, got liquidated. It was funded by the government and the government just pulled the funding on it and the whole technology basically went away. Well, not quite, because out of the ashes of Inmos, um, there's a company called Exmos that emerged that have still, has kind of, leverage the technology uh, of the transputer into their own kind of offerings. So check out Xmos on the internet and to find a little bit more about what they do and how that hooks into the historical perspective of Inmos and the transputer.